I want to talk a little bit about gathering chain speed. Ideally, we would like to have the gathering chain lug synchronized to ground speed. So if this is moving at four mile an hour, the combine is going forward at four mile an hour. But that's not always reality. The rule of thumb, uh, 55 RPMs uh, is not a bad place to be. Um, we take a piece of duct tape or you can take a spray can, paint one lug, and sit up in the cab and let it run uh, in the barnyard and then just count the revolutions per minute. Um, so if I'm harvesting down corn and I'm running about two mile an hour, then I'm gonna wanna have about 30 uh, RPM on the gathering chain. But standing corn, full speed, 55 revolutions per minute. Also, in this same conversation, we wanna talk about butt shelling. And that happens when the ear of corn hits the deck at such a high rate of speed that the kernels splatter. And I always tell everybody that you take an ear of corn and you set it on the concrete floor in the shop, there's no kernel loss. You pick up the dry ear of corn, throw it on the floor in the shop, kernels are gonna splatter everywhere. So that's what's happening during the day while we're harvesting corn. It's all about how, uh, speed and how fast does that ear hit the deck. And uh, 10 mile an hour, um, is normally what I like, but you have to do all the math calculations for it. So basically, um, if you're seeing butt shelling during the dry part of the day, it's just the only thing you can do is just slow the head down. If you're seeing butt shelling in the morning and it's been a foggy night and there's some dampness in the air, that's because the ear shank does not want to separate from the corn cob and so it pulls harder and that makes kernels come off the cob as well. But in my opinion, um, if you're needing to buy things to help sweep up the shell corn, uh, we need to adjust the corn head because there's no upside to butt shelling. <laughs>